Oh, we're back, lads. This will be the final stream of the weekend. We're gonna do a little bit more labbing. We're gonna start with Dredge because he couldn't. We couldn't get a win with him last night, so we're gonna see if uh, this kind of new style can help us out a little bit. We're gonna try to marry the, the aspects of what we were doing last night. Okay, I think the build we have is what we're gonna actually gonna start with the lab. No, we're gonna get sloppy out. Okay. Save. Okay. We're gonna start with this. See how we do, lads. Dredge, we kind of disrespected him because we were very tired, so we weren't able to secure the deal on two on two teams we really should have beat. Dredge can break locks with lockers. Oh, I know. It, it ruins my aura add-on every time it happens. Or can it break? Are you talking about on? See, Dredge can break locks on lockers. Yeah, we need to do that more. Every time we see that shit, we need to pretty much just get rid of it. Okay, so we're going to try our first attempt at a hybrid build here. We got Jolt and uh, Pain Rezo for slowdown. Pain Rezo to encourage us to hook when we need to. But we're still we're still going to try to see the early game slug potential to hold on to some gens a little early. We want to make sure we're adding slugs to our flow because slug pressure could be a lot harder to stop. Down, uh, don't do this to me. Okay, pale rose. Let's see here. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Okay. We proc we got two jolt procs there. We wanna keep going. So they already we got we got somebody off of Jen. Pick that person up. Okay. Three Joel Prox. Now we're gonna stop and hook. And we're gonna do a score hook. Okay, very good. And we got nightfall. Hi. Perfect. See Pain Rezo blew that up. Hard pallet camping, yeah, looks like it. Okay, leave him go. And I got nightfall. We don't want to give up our pallet camping. Right. Okay. We don't want to give up our hook camps. Hook camps are still good. The play with this play right here, the play we just did would also work in the meta of. Uh, we have a score chuck. Let's take the trade. And blow something else up. Nightfall's about to end, so we're about to lose pressure. Okay. The play that we just did would also work in the uh, in the meta of uh, pace kit deliverance. He had a vault that we don't we can't even try to challenge. Oh wait no, it's on the other side. But we looked really good there. Okay. We see her, which means we're dropping chase. You don't want to give this particular aspect of your killer up. What? Excuse me? We're losing Joel because we're doing the tra hook trades. Get this part done. Get your paint reso procs out done. Just getting done. Here we go. We have Nightfall too. Here's where, we're, here's where we're gonna start slugging. Oh wait, no, hold on. We got the whole team injured, and a hook, and a hook. Which is the more pressure, they have to act more quickly. Where's the other person? There we go. Darn. We didn't get the play we wanted. We're gonna go for more slugs here. We don't need to waste pain reso right now. We can eat. One thing we're already starting to do wrong is uh, the pain reso hook traits. If you have, if you're in control of the game like this, are not necessary. You need to prioritize hooking. If you have control of the gens, the early slugs, their their main job for you is to help these early gens stay in the game longer. Once you have control. You don't really need to, uh, you don't really need to hook as much once you're in that flow. Because we, we, we talked about this yesterday, some of these perks are still just dedicated to getting you into the flow that you need to be in. How's the dual strategy going so far? I think, I think there's much less holes here, myself, personally. The goal here is to like keep true to the spirit of the strategy 
but we need to uh we're keeping true to the spirit while updating it to make work against better play or against better players yeah again not to say these guys are better players but th that's the idea it, it, dredge also synergizes with this much more i think Like, very good. And look, we still. And look, we still won. We still have won via slugging, everybody. We just got a hook kill first. We got one hook kill. What we're doing this is we're upping, we're taking the core heart of what pure slug is and updating it. This is also less toxic than Pure Slug is. Pure Slug is much more toxic. But again, some characters might not want to do this. Sonico might want to Pure Slug. But it's hard to give Pain Rezo up. Jolt, though, is a fine new addition. Jolt's a fine new addition to the slowdown. It enables your Slug plays to have more oomph. Because as they're running around trying to save themselves, you uh, you get to regress the gens more. It, it makes Jolt basically become a... Uh, what, what's really interesting about Jolt is if it works for an extended period of time, it basically just becomes uh, Ruin with no Hex. It's not Hex. It's Ruin is what it is. It's like some weird synergy between Ruin and Eruption. Let's go Twitch to see if the guy was on. Four kills to start the day. Very monstrous first game. You looked really good there. Not the best group of survivors. Lumber Tester was live. Let's check out what that, what that was. And it, 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 it regresses. Yeah, it, it regresses. That's the part we kind of left out of our analysis. That's the part we kind of left out of our analysis of it. It, it. it keeps going. And if you can flow with your slug plays, it can get more than 8% regression. That was a two-man swift. Okay. Can we wind it back, or is it one of those? Okay, we can wind it back a little bit. I doubt it. Yes, be using sloppy butcher, right? No, I'm not. You're using a fucking med kit, buddy. That would make a lot of sense, though. You no, know, he get, he gains. Uh, he either gets it from the add-on of charging his thing fast or from hits. Yeah, we have injures. One thing I was thinking though, Doki, is uh, uh, it, it, it's still hard to give up the cross map or reveal. That's that's still difficult. That really helped us there while we were we were uh, well, no, that wasn't. That wasn't me. That that wasn't me, dude. That was the survivor. Listen again. It's that's not me. That was lumber tester. Yeah, I still don't like uh, balance the first one. That's not. That's not me, dude. That's the survivor. We just played. Oh. I was, I, well, I, the reason I said that is because I'm, I was thinking about, he kind of does sound like me. I, I was actually thinking that before you said it, and, and, and that's why I, I said something. Okay, let's try Nemesis. Okay, so the, we're going to take, our, 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 the, the secret ingredient, we're taking Deadlock out for Jolt. Y'all didn't tell me to fucking slug with Jolt! Okay, we need add-ons though. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, T virus sample. There you are.
I like the Eerie. I like the Eerie. Where's the Eerie at? The one that uh, increases the zombies to be like madmen after a gen. We're gonna try Myers today too. We neglected him a little bit before. Okay, we're, we're not we're not finding it. Eerie's get extended priority. Here it is. Okay. Preston Z, dude. You get so many gens. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna use this again. Do we have a black ward to hide to bring it? Yes, sir. Okay. The important part about this strategy is you have to know when it's time to pain Rezo versus when it's time to jolt. And again, we're not the the, the thing, another thing about pain Rezo. What we're doing is like this this, this like pain Rezo is a perk that is still assuming hooks are bad. You're learning to make AI covers of music. Nice, dude. Make sure they're good though. Some of them aren't aren't too bad. Some of them aren't too good. So make sure yours are. But uh. But like, like, like we, we, we technically, I think last match, as scary as we played, and again, those guys weren't too great or anything, those guys weren't hardcore swift, but, uh, but, uh, those guys, uh, as, uh, we played that suboptimal. I, I really think we did. I, the only thing we could have conserved pain resos and realized we had control of the game and slugged a bit more to get ourselves into a state where we, uh, where we just, you know. We really could have done that a little better. What you need to prioritize, I, I call them key, I I'm going to call them key downs. Okay, I think that's the terminology we're going to start using. Key downs. When, you, when you're doing a slug strategy, you have to identify what downs are the hooks. And you nine times out of ten, that's not your first one. That's what I've learned. It's not your first one. I just, I just think that first down into pick guy up, take over two hook, hook survivor, even with the pain rezo hook, that just leaves too much time on the table. Bad hand. What these survivors don't know is that I'm trying to, I'm, I, I had planned to lab this map anyway. I just want, I just want to reget our builds together first. I want to, I want to get, I, I want to get our builds together. Also, this is a five deadlock replacement as well because. Uh, this is a fine deadlock replacement as well because not a lot of gens are popping. And uh, cor the corrupt's there for the early game still, so that's good. We found a way to get cor corrupt, which unfortunately, as boring as corrupt is, and I would rather have something more fun, as boring as corrupt is, we found a way to get it back in. We found a way to get its stupid ass back in the slug rotation. I am worried about some killers though, because some killers, uh, that you need play with your food, like Doctor. We're gonna have to come back to Doctor. Doctor, we have uh, corrupt, er corrupt, uh, pain rezo, uh, save the best for last, and uh, play with your food. And Doctor, I think needs both chase perks. So that means one of the regression options is leaving, and I think it has to be corrupt. I think it has to be corrupt. I think you need the other stuff. Unless you want to just play pure hooks on Doc, or maybe just give up the jolt. Give up the jolt numbers. Doctor's trash. He can't fit whatever thing he wants into his build. We talked about this last night a little bit, too, on my end of the... My recap video I made before I went to bed. We talked about that slug builds can't fit everything they want, mostly because fucking corrupt intervention is fucking a pain in your dick, and you want it to be fucking base. You need the perk base so bad you don't even realize how bad you fucking need this perk. Base. Okay. That gen is terrible. We would really rather not go there. Here we go. Yeah, if you use big terror radius static blast, it seems like Doctor could potentially have a good enough early game to get started without it. 
Nemesis, though, you just can't take it off. That was good. Oh, that was trash. What are we doing? That force movement is fucking garbage. Like, it doesn't give me motion sickness, it's just fucking terrible. We didn't get any jolt procs. And we already lost a gem. Maybe if you get like jolt procs, maybe that determines if you're uh, first down as a hook or not. Nice. Get her, zombie. Look at that, see? That had just screwed her. The map design just screwed her. Uh, do we have a hook? Do we have a pain yeah. Yes, sir. Let's take it. <laughs> Killers have- there's aspects of this map Killers like. Okay, we need to get in tier 2 really bad. They're healing downstairs, so they were. I think we're gonna have to just suck it up and take this hook exchange for a uh, tier two. Where's the teammate? I don't care, Jeff. I want a tier two. Someone needs to give me a tier two. We need it to zone. What? That didn't give it? They didn't give that to me. Are you serious? Thank you, map. These car tiles are still really stupid, though. They're on that gen too. This is a swift. Are you serious? Nemesis, your range is shit. There we go.
We haven't found a key down yet. And now we still don't want to hit that breakable. They didn't aggressively go after that. That was so smart. This is a survivor, friends. That was so smart. You see how they didn't? They 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 stopped and healed. They did not aggressively go after that. We needed an aggress. We needed an overly aggressive play there, and they didn't give it to us. They know they're in control. They don't have to rush anything. The gen rush is already over. It already happened. We needed a very overly aggressive play there. Like this one. Hey, he got it. He proc a speed boost with that so we couldn't down him. This is very advanced nemesis tech right here that they're doing. Very much, to very top percent plays. I don't think they're top percent. I don't think they're that good. I think the game would be over by now if they were. But top percent ideas. They know what to do. Our save count is low. The heals are happening very quickly. Uh, I thought she went up the stairs. She knew where we were. Can she see us through the fucking cord or something? Okay. Okay, we got one jolt. Maybe stop for a pain res here. Can we see? Yeah, we need one. They're denying our slugging by doing gens fast. Still in tier two. They can't make anything happen. What bad hand map is this? Is this three? If this is three, I think we got the one that we don't want. This is one, okay. This one ain't too great either. Wage is here, bruh. Wage, there's some issues with your build. I don't know if you've picked up on those yet. I'm sure you have. So I'm trying to find something that corrects Bo. I'm tr corrects him a little bit while staying true to, to what you're doing. We're not having success right now because so we're on uh, bad ham. So rough shit. Yeah. 
Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> This is a super good team, though. The heals are incredible. Survivors are just fucking overbuffed. Yeah, I don't, I don't deny that. You can't, we can't even, can't even down in here. We've gotten two downs this whole game, and they think that's because they're good. Is the new the new vault buff is bullshit? Yeah, it definitely is. The coordination's just insane. The heals are the heals were insane. Every, the the amount of specific counterplay they did to just Nemesis was nuts. Very good team here. So it's like. The, the 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 play of the game was probably when the Jeff picked the correct time to zombie speed boost. They curved they they zo he zombie speed boosted away and denied us of a down. Like you really just can't win this. I'm trying to see if we can thwack him. And remember they picked the map too, so we want to take them to bad hand when we're not expecting, when they're not expecting it. Oh, that's uh, that's saved down. Dumbass. We have, I've been hitting people the whole game, bro. I have safe stacks. Yeah, I'm telling. I'm. Te I am telling you, the survivors are such a skillless player base that they haven't figured this out yet. But made for this, in combination with the new vault buff, has created an infinite somewhere. Again, it hasn't. Uh, I don't. They haven't discovered it yet, but it's coming. There is an infinite in this game now somewhere. I don't know where it is. Potential places to start would be tiles that are already busted, like the like Bad Ham Preschool that we just couldn't go in there early game, even though we knew where they were. Jesus, so that's why the heels were popping so fast. They were burning syringes. Resilience unkillable. Yeah, resilience still does like a vault buff, doesn't it? Vaulting. Yeah. Dead dog main for sure. Resilience too, yeah. Resilience too. Made for this. Resilience in combination with the new vault buff has created an infinite somewhere in this game again. If the survivors were a talented player base, they would have already found it. But since they're not, that's the only advantage we have. Since survivors have no skill, they don't. Those guys were good. Like, like if you want, like a genuinely good survivor team looks a lot like that. And uh. What 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 really impressed me about those guys specifically was how slow they took it. They realized like we 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 got it down, and like well we only got two downs. They realized they secured advantage, and it's like okay we have like th we have like three sometimes four injures in play. We don't need to rush it. We don't need to force any bad plays. They stopped and they healed and they healed. Because healing is swift is still busted. It needed a nerf. And it didn't get one. It got buffed instead. Good job, Otsvara. A hey, good job, Otsvara, for buffing healing. When it was supposed to get a fucking nerf, finally. Problem is, we couldn't commit to any chases. Even with fucking high save count. Because everything is smashed together at that map. Bad Ham 1 and 3 don't impress me too much. Uh, I think it's 2, 4, and 5 are the, are the better ones. But again, we gotta get on it more, so I can lab it a bit more. Let's try it again, because it let's, we need to lower the power level of the team a little bit. That's, that swift was just not gonna happen. We didn't open up a window. Wage beating cheaters, bro. No, oh, okay, we're probably gonna kill these guys. You couldn't beat that Swift? Go play babies, bro. Guy's toxic in his name, and I really shouldn't play him, but I just want to get another game. I don't care. I'm inconsistent with my rules, I know. His name is toxic. I usually don't play people with toxic in their name, but... I guess I'm feeling in a different mood right now. Okay.
What's the build now? I'm assuming you've been. I, I'm assuming you were updating it throughout the night. I came in for like a second before I went to bed just to see what you were doing, and I saw you moved sloppy and nurses on Freddy for a little bit. That's something I actually tried too, on my stream yesterday. And so it's interesting that we came up with the same thing without talking. That's worth noting. We came up with the same thing without talking. That guy is so toxic. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be playing him. I really shouldn't. It was it. It was interesting that you tried sloppy, sloppy band nurses because because uh, I did too, I did as well. There was one build that was working. One of your subs gave it to you, okay. And again, I think every solution here is not to, uh, before you tell me your build, I, I, in my personal opinion, every solution here is not fixed with like a build. I think it's like, I think you have just incorporating just hooks in the game when you can, I think can help. That's what we're trying to do today. Took, took the lessons from last night and saw what has potential. Jolt's actually pretty decent in this, by the way, if you haven't tested that one yet. You'd be surprised on what you can do with that one. It, it can slow those gens down even better. Okay, Wrecker's Yard, much better. Of course, we got the uh, busted map against the Swift, but again, they picked it, so. This map is much better. It's not perfect. They added some bullshit with the car tiles and stuff, but overall, much better. Okay, we have a Nick Cage in the corner. Eh, let's check. Eh, let's, let's, let's check that, David. Bolt. Okay. Nick Cage is still in the corner. Get our basic attack. Okay. We were a bit hard pressed for time last match, so we couldn't really take stop and take the time to tear up. Okay, are we in tier two? No. See, that was a waste of time. We should have just basic attacked her. Okay, the only tier two. Thank you, T Virus Sample. This sounds really good. Ah, we fucking swung and missed there. Okay. Okay, this guy's weak. We didn't have a hit, so we took the tentacle. That's how you use that shit. We could, this would be a perfect down if we could get him. Zombie, what are you doing? What are you standing there for? Get him. What is this zombie standing here for? Look at this. Behavior, fix your fucking game. That's... See, we got a little bit more active pressure. Got that got that fucker off the gen. Save that first gen. We know a little bit more about what the map looks like. Let's come back this way. Oh bullshit. Nemesis's range is so deceptively pitiful. Okay, we jolted that. Let's keep let's keep the slug game going. We don't want to stop and pain rezo that fucking shit. It'll take too long, and that jet will pop.
Okay, let's, we got her off the gen. Now let's take a hook. Are you serious? Pain Rezo, please. Okay. Okay, we still succeeded. We still succeeded. There you go. And we popped a different one. Maybe Pain Rezo a different one. Okay. Cool. Okay, Jolt can knock that down a little more. Pain Rezo hook trading here. We don't know where the other one is yet. Nick Cage is on it. Nick Cage just lost half his gem progress. And Dow Jolt is becoming ruined, so leave it alone. Jolt is ruined with no hex. It's wonderful. It's wonderful for this. Here he is. Okay, if we can knock him down, we can go for a slugging again. And... Oh, come on, Nemesis. You're so fucking weak. Really letting me down here, buddy. The range is so bad. Now we have to stop and get in the cage. Okay, Jolt just popped too. We have time to take a hook. We know a little bit more about the map. We know about the map. Because because we have increased the... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. No. You're going to do that? No. We're going to slug. We're, I'm slugging, bro. I don't give a shit. This is, I, this is probably optimal. This is the best way to use it right here. We have hook pressure on him already. We, are, so we, we still have a slug game in play. So now we can stop and take the hook a little bit. And we can return him. Or we can return him. We can manage the map a little bit. Return this man over to the area we want him. Which is over here. Look at the gen. Okay, Claudette. Oh my god, the autism. And again, these guys aren't as good as the last guys, clearly. But we're at least doing it. Now, the next time we down that David, he's out of the game. We don't have to down him 25 times. We we, we effectively use slugging when we when we thought it would be useful. Ah, uh, okay, push her back. Okay. Ugh, okay, we need a tier 3. This range is fucking pitiful. Range is fucking pitiful. Quiet, where are you? I need a jolt first, though. Okay, we got it. Okay, there we go. Look at the slugging. Again, we're not slugging just to go, we're gonna slug everybody, we're trying to win the game. The fastball buff just screwed us. It fucked their aim. Oh my god, they get so much further. Okay, yeah. good, very good. The fastball buff is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen in my life, and they need to revert it. Now again, it's, you see, Wage is like, we lost all of our pressure. Well, Wage isn't saying that specifically, but it's like, it's okay. Like, look, we lost, you lost your pressure, dude. Yeah, as soon as we down the David again, he's dead. There's four gens left still. Oh, the fastball buff. You got to love it. Good job, Jolt. I don't remember if we fucked him or not. Shit. 
We haven't. We're shaping the map again, much better. Jolts, that gen's completely regressed because they haven't had time to work their way back over here and touch it. And we keep our killers camping utility in the game. We need to get, we need a fucking tier three. Such pitiful range. We actually need to push her back over this way. Very good. That's just who we want. These tiles are so obnoxiously big. Like look, there's no there's no there's no gameplay here. The zero, especially with made for this. There's no gameplay here, dude. This is not one ounce of it. He did just juke us there, but it's like we we had we I didn't even know a window was gonna open up for us there. We were hoping Dramaturgy would. Finally, okay. Very good. We need to actually hook him. Because we gotta get him out. Hopefully Jolt can, the 8% Jolt can save us from the gen popping. That's exactly what it did. Good job, Jolt. That's another 8%. And we haven't scorch hooked you yet. Eh, let's put him in the basement, actually. Because it gets closer to our uh, gen. Oh my god, get the fuck down there. The wiggling is trash. Like, why? <laughs> why, though? Okay. Okay, we know where everybody is. This is a safe retreat. Back to Hook. We're also protecting a gen here as well. This gem was about to be done. Joel has removed an entire piston already. Okay, we know where both of them are. They're not doing anything. You don't want to give up this proxy kit, this, this hook stuff. What? Nemesis, why is your power back? Another jolt proc on that gen. Now we want Cheryl. We need to spread the injuries to the team. Less, yeah, at least Nemesis could. <laughs> yeah. He. I wish. I still wish his range was slightly bigger. You got save putting in the work here. Let's go in. And again, once somebody's out of the game wage, slugging's even better. Ah! 
Now we're gonna go in. Our window opened up. We're not hooking no more. The victory window opened. Do you see how quick? Do you see how? Uh, nah, you're good, man. This game puts me in a shit mood too. Ah, oh, look at our zombie, Scott Jun, man, bugged again. Are you serious? Yeah, I, I was kind of pissed after my stream too last night. I talked to a lovely individual who made it better though. Okay. But it's like, I think the reason that uh, it lit a fire under me, even though like, it lit, well, okay, like, the stream last night lit a fire under me because uh, I, I felt something. I felt that there's a chance for uh, there's a chance for this to actually be really good. I just, we just needed to take it into the next step. You hate the made for this meta where survivors think they're good? Oh, how about the uh, combine it with resilience now, dude? You could combine made for this with resilience and the new fast fall changes. It makes that combo much more viable. Jolt is spectacular. It's so much better than I thought it was if you play it like this. But it's like, it's even, it's even low key a little bit better than I thought it was. Uh, because of the fact, and not just because of the number, it's because it turns it into ruin. If you can adequately keep your pressure up, Joel is hexless hex ruin. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we only needed two pain reses. We got that, or we got that control, and we started slugging earlier, but we combined it with hooking. Which I guess my again, again my killer could probably do. We combined our we the lessons we learned from last night with the slugging with pure slug builds. We took what we learned from that, applied it to our hook strategy, added Jolt to the mix to add for some extra gen slowdown on top of it. We have here a build that's actually very destructive and corrupt, so they don't get th two, three free gens at the start of the game. As boring as corrupt is. You know what's actually interesting? If corrupt was a base mechanic, I would be my I would throw on a gimmick perk with this. I would throw on uh, dark devotion. You would be very fucking shocked. Survivors completely forget it's in the game. Again, no geniuses there, but they're better than we thought. J Man's here. They got more done than we thought that they would. That David lasted a little longer than we thought he would. Sometimes it just takes good night's sleep, get refreshed. We're back, boys. J Man coming in that cop scene W telling Scott Judd his weapon's going right through people. Yeah, fuck you, Scott Judd, you piece of shit. You're t it's completely out of range to begin with. $450 on a new headset. So, $450 on a new headset, but you won't get a Switch to play Smash? If Alien's good, you're done with Freddy. What? Do it. Proud of you, dude. I'd be proud of you if you did that. Uh, Alien has potential. Alien has potential, dude. If they make something even halfway loyal to source material, it should be pretty good. Now, if they give him fucking 32 meter... If they give him 32 meter tear radius, he's like a demo clone, then he's gonna be shat. Well, I mean, he won't be bad, because Demo's not a bad character, but... Oh! You guys want to see Demo? You guys want to see Demo with, with added slug utility? Demo's crazy if you do this. We're gonna play Demo and then Myers. We're gonna try Vanity Mirror on Myers. Y'all want to see... Oh, let's see. I told you we were laughing Dark Devotion. But, uh, okay, we need to adjust it a little bit. We need Corrupt back in there, because Corrupt is essential for beating Swift. Any build that does... Uh, 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 any build... This is a, such a boring take, and I'm so sorry for saying it. Any build that doesn't have Corrupt Intervention in it has no chance of beating Survive with Friends. Absolutely zero. No, Demo's perks did not get removed. Their names changed. Well, I want to try Vanity Mirror Myers with this. 
Show us two hit Myers. But you get aura reveal. That's that's why it's interesting. But uh, vanity mirror is something I would rather do on pure slug setups. And I, I should have labbed it last night. And then first pain reso. Okay, here it is. We got Lepros Lycan. Y'all want to see some some y'all want to see some shit with the Demogorgon? We popped off off stream yesterday. Okay. I'm so tempted to st so fucking tempted to stop playing bad killers. Wage, I will play bad killers so you don't have to. That's why I've always said. I will play garbage so you don't have to. You need to. You need. This game is a very awful way of not rewarding your skill. And the meta in the game right now, the haste meta, combined with resilience, and. Uh, it's just it, it has uh, especially that it takes gameplay away at all filler titles. Uh, I have another hot take. Uh, if you're a pure M1, if you are a pure M1 killer, TLs are bad now. If you are pure M1 killer, TLs are trash. Because if they have made for this in resilience and they're injured, it it would combine with the new fast faults. Okay. Combined with the new fast faults made for this and resilience, maybe cross out resilience. The fast faults are kind of stupid enough on their own, but it increases the distance for where an actual mind game needs to be had. If the survivor is good, they will be much better at determining where you are in relation to where they are, and they can know as soon as they see that distance and know that their bullshit's in the game that that fall is safe. That means there's no fucking mind game, pretty much. Or it makes your your telegraph, or, or it makes you that they'll, they'll think you as the killer know that you can't get the hit, so they'll be much more anticipating you to actually do it. It may it it, it shifts the TLs to not being true 50/50s anymore, which is I mean it's kind of not what they are anyway. But again, you have to be pure M1 for this. Master nurse and doctor. What is it here? Here's what you should do. Okay, here's the ultimate power play. Do that for a little bit. Prove you can do it, and then stop. Just go back after you've done it. <laughs> oh cool, dead dog. Right next to- best spot on the map, too. Very lucky. It's like my love- the gods are giving me, uh... They're giving me pendants for last night's abomination. Where we got, like, super unlucky, like, every time. We had a bad luck stream last night. Okay, we gotta go to Gallows. Save Gallows, save the game. Get off my gen, asshole. A little bit different early game there, because we needed to blow up fucking two, uh, breakables. This guy the obsession, though. You ain't hot shit, buddy. You ain't hot shit, buddy. You ain't full. You ain't good. You ain't fucking good. Calm your tits. What's the hook? Okay, sprint burst. We need to uh, open portals. Okay, we know where everyone is. Give me it. Good girl. Okay, now we're gonna take a hook. We know more about the map.
Okay. Possible solo queue. Oh, he teleported. Did you see that? He teleported. Uh, but we have, we have bad ping, so I can't play in the game entirely. Both Nick Cages are decent. Okay. Very good. You are a bad sprint burst user. Okay. We whacked this yet. Okay, we need to go get him. This shit stinks, buddy. Kind of a tunnel fodder here. We want to set ourselves, we want to keep the option open. That's why we're taking this hook. Get off that. Yeah, we got it. Uh, we got to get a map. We said that as soon as we started. Very good. We saw the portal here. Yes, sir. Get off that. Let's open. Let's open the one over there. Ah, we're gonna counter plot twist. <laughs> We're gonna counter plot twist. We're gonna counter plot twist. What's up, asshole? How you doing? How you doing, sucker? The fuck out of my game, you piece of trash. The fuck out of here with that fucking garbage. You see the information we're getting though? Without perks. Add-on information is better than perk information because uh, perks are more valuable. Chances are most of your add-ons are trash. So if you can find one that's actually remotely good, it's gonna be usable. We would like to play with your food here. Uh, hold on, I see her. Get off that. We need like one more down. We almost have him. Good job, demo. We know where they are. We need a jolt on that gen. Bad. Very good. That's what we needed. Okay. Now we start slugging again. Got pallets burned. Okay. Good job, Jolt. Alright, that was a key down. This will be our hook. Now we can hook him. 
And we're gonna be able to pain res of that gem. Die, that's pretty much game. Alright, where's Nick Cage at? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, down, portal, go back to hook, win the game. Oh, fuck you, Sprint Burst. You're so trash. Okay. Get another portal in play. That gen's basically nothing. Yeah, we need to hit Nick Cage. Where's he at? Okay. Nope, you can't go to that window. Very good. Should be all of the, uh, pay brothers. Look at the gens, though. Okay, we saw on the left. No cooldown or anything. The information's so good on this character. Also get fucked, plot twist. Yeah, if we had fully committed, we had it. Did I just slide off of that? Excuse me? Oh, also, we can break that other breakable now. Oh well. GG. There to get. Well, we weren't actually, what we were trying to do... My mind wasn't 3 gen, 3 gen, 3 gen, 3 gen. It, it, it so happened that the two gens that we were defending, we started the match going, where's Gallows? Because that's what you do here. And then this is the gen we were focused on right here. Because I kept hitting it. I'd still argue that we had a much more active role in that match. We weren't trying to, like, force them to be on a 3 gen. And plus, we were just better than them. So, like, the lethality was gonna go... Our lethality was just up, in general. But if they were a swift, we would have still had to do that. Yeah. Get fucked. Get fucked, plot twist! Get fucked, plot twist! Get destroyed. Demo's fucking pretty good. <laughs> Demo with the base kit buffs, bro. Okay, let's go back. Let's let's try Wraith again.
They was trying to split the three gen. I'll have to go back and watch the map. I think that we I think we had another option by Water Tower, which Demogorgon could have easily defended. They would have had to do that one and Water Tower. Bring the Bargo offering. Bring a Bargo offering. Shattered Square or is Garden of Ass? Killers, okay. Let's see what Wraith looks like. Wraith, I know we have Jolt, Sloppy, Nurses. A, a cat. Let's, okay. Let's put pressure on myself to work on getting the, on catching the heals faster. Or, here's what we could do. Here's what we do. I got an idea. Let's bring, uh, where is, where is fucking Scorched, uh, we got, we still have no corrupt here. Do we drop, we don't, I don't, we don't drop save. I don't think we do. Okay, the heals aren't as bad as saves in the game. Let's get Sloppy out and get Pain Rezo in. Let's put pressure on myself to work with no corrupt again to keep our nurses value in. And we have Windstorm, that helps. And we have Windstorm. Do we want Mangled through an add-on? Let's go with this. I don't have a Borgo. I don't have a Bargo, but I'll send us a Garden of Ass instead. How's that? We, yeah. Okay, uh, where is... We'll bring Garden of Ass instead. We don't have a, uh, Bargo. I try to avoid that map offering. Okay, we have no Corrupt here, so we have to work extremely quickly. I, ugh, I really want, I really don't want to bring corrupt, but it's, ugh, do we just be lame and get rid of nurses? I feel like that's what we have to do. Again, against Swift, you kind of have to do that. It's so lame. I don't want to do it. I, I, I don't want to bring corrupt. I don't want to. But it's just if if you want a build that has any hope in hell of defeating survive with friends, you have to bring it. Behavior make make it base kit already. My build creation is so stifled because I have to bring it every fucking match. Make two gens one minute base, please. Two. That's all I want. Give me two gens for one minute, and then corrupt can add, corrupt perk can just be add an extra gen and then add the other x sixty seconds. If 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 you just give me two sixty seconds, that's all we need. Corrupt is so fucking boring and lame, and everybody hates it. About no side gets any fucking thing based, cause, but they had 65 adjustments, so I want one. I think that's more. I think that's fair. I, th I we are about to get Shadowborn base, so which we did, we, we cut we low key really need that too. FOV is getting worse every single day, especially with all these new fucking changes. Where I look down now after hits, and that they decrease the rate my my FOV when we kick pallets. When you kick a pallet now, they decrease your FOV. Do you guys know that? We don't even know when they did it. It was just nine months ago your FOV was bigger. Nobody said anything, either. AQ posted uh, two two back-to-back uh, -back, uh, side by side screenshots of uh, what it used to look like versus what it looks like now. They they, they cluttered half your screen with a palette. I don't know when they did it, either. Big mystery. Big mystery when they did that. Did they shadow buff the 4%? I feel like that all the time. I got COVID on like three times yesterday. 
One guy was their first fucking hook. Okay, here's the. Or, okay, we're taking it to Garden of, of Ass. So this map is not good for killer. Okay. I feel much safer with corrupt. Okay. We're being lame and taking nurses out. We're doing. Okay, he's doing nothing. We have two minutes to play with. Give me that. Oh. Oh, the buff! You love to see it! Yeah, right up in her ass, and we still didn't get that hit, boys. Hi. Oh, okay, good play. Hey, you down. Okay. Here we go. Ah, damn it. I wish I could see him. That would be nice. Those two, uh, that fastball buff killed us. Dude, that would be a down. On the Michaela. We're almost there. Very good. All right, Joel, I need you. Well, I play with your food because we need uh, we need save to counter buckle up. We have nurses right now. There it is. And circle of healing is broken. Here it is. Here's our play. Here's our play, we almost got it. They healed again. This chase is safe. Oh my god, this fucking map. Ah, fuck. Like, 
No, this map design is terrible. Of course, the fucking weak players have session, so we're not getting any stacks. We need to. We need to start hooking. It's not a perfect play. We're not in complete control, but we gotta start hooking. Okay. Very good. Whole team's injured again. We got Circle of Healing, so they have one of our counters in. That's a will make it heal. Healing builds. Bad map and our counters. Circle of healing is absolutely killing us. It's a bad perk, Rosie. Dead hard. We need to just fucking cut our losses and tunnel. We've held the gens a very long time. Yeah, we gotta we gotta tunnel him out, he's bad. We're trying we're trying to like set ourselves up here, but it's not working because we can't deal with the map. And uh, they have half our counters. They're shaving off the injures way too quickly because circle of healings in the game. They probably got rid of like five of our injuries with that. Yep. It's not working because they had our counters. And the map. The map played a bit of part of it as well. The, the tile design on the, the, on the corner was really bad. And we should have started hooking earlier. We made mistakes. These guys were beatable. Because again, the trash stayed in too long. The biggest issue with these slug builds are that trash stays in. Oh no, I'll bring it. I'll bring the same map again. The build's fine. We made mistakes. Also, the man at least knows how to camp the pallets. He doesn't know much else, but that's it. Get dead hard.
I see deep wounded. Did they buckle up there? Yeah. We only won Scourge Hook there. And we got a lot of, we got multiple downs. We only got two hooks because we slugged too much in the early game. We wanted that, we wanted that perfect cycle to get rolling. Hookie did, see, no, because we didn't do it. We didn't do it, that's the thing. And they had our counters as well, which was super. Two copies of Circle of Healing, really rough. Desperate Measures was in there too. They had, look at this guy, Botany Knowledge will make it. Desperate Measures built to last with a Ranger Med Kit. They had full on Wraith counters here. Masquerade Med Kit. Buckle Up was in there too. Oh, they, she put the syringe on him. That gave her Buckle Up. Didn't it? Didn't it? Jolt Prox, like four or five. But again, they had our counters. They had our counters at a good map. We gave, well, yeah, because we didn't play it right. We played it wrong, and they had a map. They had a good map, and again, they had all of our counters. That guy was that Jake had dedicated anti, uh, had dedicated uh, heal build, very dedicated. Wraith is going to struggle there, no matter what map you're on. The only way to win that was to hard tunnel Nick Cage out as soon as we downed him the first time. And that's just not what we're trying to do right now. I'm just going to run it back to the same map. Run it back, same character, same map. We just need to change the builds up a little bit. We need to uh, fucking... Just need to change those builds up a little bit. And again, again, we're still labbing. Like, maybe Jolt's not what you want on Wraith. Maybe you do want sloppy nurses on him. We're still laughing. Maybe you would rather, maybe you want to uh, forego pain rezo on Wraith for a uh, sloppy butcher. Like saying the build needs adjustments doesn't, doesn't like bother me. Because we're still laughing this shit. This is very early into discovering something new. So I just want to run it back right now. Same everything. We have another copy of Bone Clapper. Okay, we have nine copies of this. Okay. I really don't like Corrupt. Corrupt is what I want it gone. But it, it just, it's so good. You can't, like, take it out. Especially on that map. I wonder what would happen had we hooked the, uh, the first down we had. I would like to, like, peer into the other universe to, if we had hooked the first down that we got there, what would have happened? But we would have pro- we gave, we gave the Jake Wax us to we'll make it by hooking, and we went Ted hard in the game, because we hooked. Like uh, Dead Heart screwed us twice there as well, because it's a good perk. Okay, we got three flashlights. Yeah, I still don't like play on. I don't. I, 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 you could take out save for it, but then you're screwed with butt with buckle up and boil overs hit you, and you get fucked by body blocking. Save as so many general applications. How would you nerf made for this in resilience? Uh, the easiest thing to do is made for this does not need to fucking proc a three percent movement speed bonus. It doesn't need to do that. Just get rid of that. It's a stupid effect they shouldn't have put in.
If you if you have to have it, just make it off hook for sixty seconds. Cancelled by conspicuous actions. You can even bump it up to four. You can bump it up to four percent and then make it all tunnel off hook for it cancelled by conspicuous actions, delete the healing effect because no one's using it for that because boil because buckle up's in the game now. Resilience resilience just needs a vault clause. Just get rid of the vault. Just get rid of the vault speed bonus it gives, and then that perk is fine. It's not even that good. It's it, it, people run it for the vault buff. Just take that out, and the perk is useless trash. Being injured's too good again. That that's the main problem with the game. Made for this, yeah. There's too much endurance and too much haste in the game right now. There's too much. It's like they fucking, they, they nerfed Dead Hard so they let the, so the floodgates are going off now. Because they nerfed Dead Hard, now they feel like they can throw it in the game on like 50 other different things. People run it for gen speed. Yeah, they do. It, okay, back on Garden of Ass. Big fun. Same build again. Hopefully they won't be, they won't have circle of healing and it, like like we can if they didn't have circle of healing last match we would have found them called their out on their heels and started another slow game. Circle of healing Loki say the game for them last match. Bad perk though, right? Shit. Here we go. Somebody has a spine chill. She really challenged that. She really thought she could make that. We have a chance to burn God Palette early. So let's take it. Uh, she's not falling for that. All right, good survivor. Drop it. Drop it. I want to drop. Get rid of all this shit. Ah, nice buff. Very good change of behavior. There is for the people. That's for the people buckle up right there. They just do it right in front of your face, and then you can't do anything about it. They literally brought insta-heal back. What insta-heal used to be, they brought it back. Like, I didn't even have a window to hook her. If, if the play was hooking, we didn't even have a window for it. Very good. Very good, they did it way too early. Do we have a Scorch Hook? Yes we do, but it's over there. Okay. It's fine. We want the whole team injured anyway. This is another Swift. Cool, get it down. God, we're so fucking good at this game!
Just mad that window's busted right there. And there's somebody up there, we still have to go pressure it. She's still gonna make the buck for the broken shit. There needs to be a breakable by that window. Force walls are so unhealthy for the game. Force vaults are so bad and unhealthy for the game, they have to, they, they, all of them should be gone. Okay. Very good. What the fuck's that survivor? She had a dead zone, for one. Even if she had not, maybe if she had noticed we were there, she was dead anyway. We're going back to the hook. We need a hard tunnel this Kate out of the game. We need to make sure we're stopping to take injures on every healthy survivor we see. Because they're going to try it again. They're gonna try to do it. I got her. I was I thought we had a window to pick her up. I didn't want to let her out of the corner there. We should be okay. Yes, sir. What is this hook spacing? My god. We do not have a good hook. Okay, very good. Fastball buff right up her ass, don't get the hit. This tile's so broken. Just look at the way it's shaped. There's no way to actually cover that vault. It's so broken.
Very good. We need a score, Chuck Payne Rezzo. Yes, sir. They're not healing. Pay for this? It's a pretty interesting idea. Was that the person we just down shit? That's not what we wanted. Very good. It's not what we wanted. But we still need another hook in the game, I would argue. Pick your moment. It's not our moment yet. This might be the moment. No adrenalines. Go this way, please. I know where both survivors are. Very good, this is the moment. Retreat back to hook. Secure a kill here. Nice. It GG survive with friends on some fun fucking uh, bad map. You love to see it! Wait, so we already have a guy down. He's not plus twisting, we have him down. This, this chase can take as long as it needs to. GG for the people, buckle up, survive with friends. Oh, nice. Hard focus, sir. Don't let her go. We gotta win here. Very good. We need visual on the other player. I wish we had all seen blood right now. I need to kick this. We don't know where our friend is, and we don't know if she has a flashlight or not. Go for it. Yes, sir! Now we can take her far, far away. Okay. GG, survive with friends, easy!
That was a more hook based game, so Jolt wasn't as good. But it's the adaptability that we like. The, the ability to go from one strat to the other very, very quickly. What do we got here? For the people, unbreakable buckle up. Made for this. Sprint burst. The Kate was bad. I don't think she was in the Swift. I don't. But they did all try to protect her. They did try to protect her. The reason I thought that was more than one person is because they all tried to protect her. All three of them were bun rushing the hook. Yeah, we didn't see Joel go off because it wasn't a slug match. It wasn't a slug match. We we needed to, we needed our hooks there. For the people, buckle up needs a fucking nerf. It's so busted. They had two by they had two copies of it by the way. They had two copies of for the people buckle up. Two deja vu's for three gens. Very gen rushy. There's, there's resilience with made for this. They had all good. They all had good shit. What's this? Background play trash. That wasn't a slug match. We had a game on Nemesis as Nemesis earlier. Joel put in massive work that game. Because it was a more slug based strat on Brecker's Yard. We had we actually got our flow moving and it was a very slug based game. So Joel put in way more work than Paid Rezo. When you identify what you're going up against and you identify what kind what you need to be kind of doing, they like they, they they both work well together, but usually one's getting more than others. I watched SummerSlam, yes sir. I didn't watch every match because I played a little bit of DVD during some of the matches, but it was at least a two man. We can't really confirm what it was, but that was at least two man swift, at least. Which again, nothing beats four man swift, so. The other two were not being protected. That's because they couldn't afford to do that. They had to get the gens done. They still had to get the gens done. And they lost somebody. So they can't just they can't just bum rush protect each other. When when you lose somebody, the game is entirely different. That's why they were all rushing to protect her, regardless of what kind of swift it was. They were all trying to save her because they knew if they lost somebody. Yeah. They just the game is entirely different. Okay, let's get off Wraith. I'm still fuzzy on him. I want to try Myers though. I want to try Myers. Okay. Uh, Jolt and Pain Rezo. Myers, Myers corrupt is a non-negotiable. You have to have it. The question is, do we want Saber Bamboozle? Do we want save or bamboozle? If you're running Vanity Mirror, you need save. But, can our power get away with uh, bamboozle, is the question. Let's go ahead and try it, just for variety's sake. Do you think being slugged is fun? I don't care! Another perk you could try on Myers with this is Infectious. You try to get Infectious back in the game a little bit. But I'm not going to do that. I think you need a... Uh... Who do I think? Roman? Who should beat Roman? Who do I think should beat Roman? Uh, I, I think Cody's still the best guy they have. I think there's the most... I, I don't... It, being Roman's hard. It, it shouldn't be The Rock. That, that'd be stupid. If The Rock fights Roman, then Roman wins. Is that AQ? Uh, the, it, we're, it's going alright. It's going alright. We're trying to, like, incorporate a bit more slugs into the, uh... Into the match. But... Uh, we made a, uh... We did pure slugging last night, and we made like a we made a video with this build. You just go back to hooking. Not necessarily, not necessarily. Jolt your slug perk. 
And Myers is, is a slightly different killer. Uh, let's bring. Let's just bring a black ward, I guess. Let's keep our ship. Let's just let's just throw on bamboozle. See what see what it does. We're trying to add a bit more slugs into the game because, like, the thing is, we what, what we took away from the pure slug stuff last night is that slugging can do things. Slugging can do things. So, but slugging can do things, but it doesn't beat Swift. That's what we took away from last night. It can do things, but it doesn't beat Swift. So, we're trying to incorporate it into how to beat Swift a bit more, is what I'm saying. One eleven and lost seven with pure slug. Yeah. We like we won the majority of our games last night too, but the writing was on the wall. And some killers like it more than others. Pinhead, mwah. Our pinhead game last night was fantastic. Some killers like it more than others. I I, I want to the, the 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 question I I'm having. I'm playing as many dick killers as possible. I'm trying to see how much slugging you should be doing with specific killers. Some killers, that stat is going to increase, like a pinhead. Pinhead, I think, really enjoys it. It. Pinhead, we got chain hunts in the game, and it felt like, honestly, you know what it felt like? It felt like uh, infinite chain hunt pinhead again. Not that well, it didn't have everything in common with it, but it didn't have everything in common with it, but, but Pinhead I don't think brings, uh, I don't know if Pinhead wants to bring Pain Reds, because I don't think Pinhead wants to hook as much. The killers that need to, like, stop and take their hooks, the killers that need to stop and take their hooks, very bad quota. <laughs> The idea, the, the main thing, the main thing I think we can use slugging for is to save early game gens. But again, you have to look at, I, I'm, not, I'm not even saying you do this a majority of the time. You just have to know what, you have to know what's going on, know the window, maybe you got jolt info after your first down, or some shit like that. Go check some gens, like, like I, there's potential to shake up your early game and save those early game gens just a little bit more with this. Not a lot. Against Swift, and against Swift, you might just—I don't know—I still don't know. Against Swift, you might want to just take the hooks. I'm so mad though. We we should have beat that. We should have had a 4K on that uh, last in that last match, but we just we didn't know about there was a if there was a flashlight on the other person or not. We forgot, which I feel like is my bud. All right, Shelter Woods, let's go. Okay. All right. Hi, hi, hi. Get me out of tier one. This is trash. Get me out of tier one. Why did I pick this character? Get me out of tier one. She's gonna rotate around this rock. Oh, hi. Get me out of tier one. Get me out of tier one. Ah, the fastball buff. You have to love it. Okay, we see scratch marks here. Oh, I love my life. No, she's out of stock. Myers is so bad. AQ, he's so bad, dude. Okay, there's Jolt. We got a scream notification. We need to get the fuck over there. We're slugging. And we have a tier three. So she's basically injured. Hi. Are you serious?
Okay. Swing back, rotate around. Actually, do we have a, do we have a scorch hook? We do. Oh, Jesus. See, the one time we stopped the hook, we lost two. I need to kick this. I'm more upset that she's out of stock more than anything. Here, here comes Jolt. No save hurts. Hey Bamboozle, what are we doing? That was dramaturgy, I think. You exposed? Oh man. He has to drop God Pellet now. Or he's just bad. Cool. Did you see what the uh, rotation we made? Look where we are. This game is not over yet. One, two, three. Which we're starting to seal off three gens again, but... That one person's already out of stock. And we didn't proc a tier three off of it. The worst thing that happened to us was Myers letting us down. Give me the escape wound hit. Now we need to kick this. Jesus. They're both over there though. They're both over there. Oh, come on. Oh my god, the pain reso RNG is terrible. Bad luck. But we have a camp ready to go, which will prime a jolt on that gun. Okay. Oh, she's got a stock. Why, Myers? Why? Thank <laughs> you. 
There's Jolt. We guess I have to tunnel him out though at this point. I'm so pissed at this character right now. He let us down twice. Buff this, buff fucking Myers, dude. I would honestly argue we played this okay. The fucking character was just bad. The character's weak. We had two. That our early game stalking was really good. We came up right behind them, ready to proc the tier three. Uh, down. Didn't had didn't. Hit, I ran out of stock with five gens. Oh, uh, vault buff. She doesn't. We don't make that anymore. That was a that was a pre vault buff tier three. My bad, Jeff. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Think they got enough? Oh, there's a teammate there. I think it was the add-on? You talking about the hair bow? Maybe. What, what should we run instead? That was so bad. We yeah, we won the game twice, but the add-on, but the character let us down. <gasps> the bow is shit. Maybe in this build it is. I like the extended tier threes though. Okay, what should we run instead? We played really well there. I'm telling you, we did. We, but the, the character was bad, and the, I guess it, it, Wade is blaming the bow. It might be. We we had good dead rabbit. Okay. Our looks were really good. Oh yeah, his meta's tombstone piece. We're not using that. Because <laughs> cancer. Because killers are gaslit to not using their meta. I wish survivors had the same respect we do. I'm not going to use made for this in resilience, but combined with the fast faults because they're OP as fuck and that's not really fair. Nah, they're all gonna use it, and that's okay. But if you use your meta, it's toxic. Alright, uh, let's do Dead Rabbit. That was super winnable. And we made a very good slug play in the mid game where we rotated over to the three gen. Like we did, we did a lot of stuff right there. Should we do a? Uh... Should we do a? Uh... Uh, jewelry's trash. -ish. The problem is his add-ons are bad wage. That's another problem. Like Dead Rab is just one of his better options. We could do Mirror Shard, but it doesn't help you in tier three. We could stack these. No. His add-ons are just bad wage. But the, he has like two options. Like these, like this is bad. <laughs> I 
Anything with corrupt can you can work, make it work. Problem is, oh, we should uh, we bam bamboozle still in there, but okay, they picked RCPD, rough. Problem is, wage again. Most of the perks are bad. So, like when you you have when you make an adjustment, you're not leaving a limited pool of options. Like we're laughing a perk we haven't ran before. We're seeing if we can incorporate it into a, a slug game. Nobody's saying this is good. This isn't what we're settling on. This is just what we're testing. Dead and rabbit lowering your tear race. That's all it's there to do. It's there to go with the stock, and that's it. Again, like, I'm not gonna run fucking stupid bullshit to go with an add on. Like, like what should we run? Sloppy nurses? That was something we were gonna test. Sloppy nurses is testable on him. But so is this. It's testable. Should be stop laughing unfun game styles. I know, dude. I know. Okay, everything over there is blocked. Very good. Takes nine seconds, just like Scooch said. Give me it to me. Very good. Should get him here. Very good. There's Jolt right there, Wage. If Jolt got that one too? No, I had to be in the skill check. Give it to me. I said give it to me. Okay, we blew both of those gens up 18%. Now we can take our hook. And Joel has become ruin on those gens. Oh, wait, hold on. They picked that guy up. Might not be up here. We just held center. And we got probably the best hook on the map too. Bar basement. I wish we had save. I do. Again, did you see the slugging? This is what the this is what the goal is. The slugging that play deleted that gen 18% and we have a hook. And it got them off the game. We still have five fucking gens left. Very good. 
Are you? You hit. We're throwing. Yes, sir. Isn't this West Wing? Isn't this the bad one? I thought East Wing was the good one and West Wing was the bad one. This is West Wing. in the center too much is what they did wrong. Ooh, hit it on the injured guy. Also, Myers is trash. That's another thing you are forgetting. To three jet, but well, we're not three jetting. We just beat them. That's the thing. We didn't walk in and go. Where's the three gen? Yeah, they got cocky and disrespected. Basically, yeah, they had they held center too way too much. Is what they did wrong. Probably out of disrespect. Yeah. Well, yeah, we didn't we didn't three jet them. I didn't walk in. The, the thing is, I'm not walking in every game and going, where's my three gens? I'm sick of doing that. I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of the game being like that. If you can, like, incorporate some early game slugs and slow them down, and then, like, like if you hook with a slug, if you hook with a slug halfway across the map, you can leave better. Not really here, because this was RCPD. And RCPD is super clunky. Hi. Chaining your plays together doesn't really work here. But slugging's not fun. Should, I know, I gotta stop doing it. It's not fun. Sl slugging makes hooks less bad, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, AQ, you missed a, uh... You missed this counter plot twist earlier with Demogorgon? We had a, we had a, uh, Lepros Lycan. The guy was plot twisting and we had Le Lepros Lycan. And we pet portaled right over to his ass and fucking picked him up off the ground. It was kind of funny. Fucking bastard trying to use that shit to get a fucking heal. And again, I'm not saying every single game you're going to get massive slug value. Yeah, silly bean perk, yeah. It's just the games that you're it's going to happen, you're going to get it. Like, okay, in this particular match, we got we got like one early slug into a tier 3 down, which put us we got best hook on the map super early and we're Myers, so now we can just hard camp it, right? Like we're not like like uh, like I'm not saying walk in and and, and I'm gonna slug every time. I'm gonna slug every single game, every single time. Right now, that's kind of what we're doing because we're kind of labbing the strat. We're still like in the labbing phase of this. Once we get everything situated, we might want to start taking first hook after first down again. And then maybe swatch me to slugs over in the mid game. We have a lot of options with, with, with this. That's what I like about it. There's a lot of potential things you can do with it. Okay, GG. 
That's just such a waste of time. Yeah, pretty much. I just, I do it to get the game over with because I don't give a shit. It doesn't affect your rank anymore, so who cares? Well, we wake up. What the fuck we run in here, bud? Soul Survivor? <laughs> Trash. She had Soul Survivor. No wonder she got us, bro. We'll make it. Prove. Deliverance. Hope. Made for this. The P-74 Rage Suicides. Of course, bro. Because prestige, because prestige definitely means a lot, and it should definitely be shown on the character select screen, and it should definitely be used by Dalzy as an excuse to lobby dodge. Dalzy be like, I'm gonna dodge the high prestige lobby. Oh my god, trash. Dalzy, who cares what their prestige number is? It doesn't mean anything. It's how many times they cycle through a blood web. That doesn't mean jack fucking shit. Especially with the changes where cycling, getting through, getting through blood web cycles is easier than ever because you can just press a button and then it does the cheapest route for you. So it doesn't, it, it, all it means is you have no life. Yes. All it means is that you're a fucking loser. All it means is that you're a fucking loser. Play a shit, shit fucking match all fucking day. Shit game. Trash. Okay, let's try, uh... Let's keep it on. And then let's run, uh... Let's take out, uh, Bamboozle. I did, and, uh... Eh, no, let's leave it in. Let's leave it in. Let's take it, let's leave it in, and... Wage one plus let's go to Knight's Map, so let's go there. Let's go to Borgo. Borgo on Myers with line of sight breakers for all for fucking days. Let's do it. My body is ready. But it's like, okay. Here, Wage, we're, we're, meeting, we're doing it for you. We're doing it for you. I will tell you why I disagree. I will tell you why I disagree with the fact that survivor sided shit is what you have to bring to test a build. Because the survivor sided stuff isn't fair. Now, I, like, a lot of stuff in the game isn't fair. Like, even a lot of the better maps in the game aren't fair. They have bullshit. But, like, like I, I see your point of, like, you have to bring it to the, the worst possible situation for you to see if it actually gets you value against good teams at, at this particular map. But at the same time, the shit's fucking overpowered. It's overpowered. Decimated Borgo is overpowered for the survivors. Uh, the, the map we won with Wraith on, or the, the Garden of Ass, is overpowered for survivors. It's overpowered. They have too much shit there. Like, like, I, I think if you, if you try to consistently lab against good teams on survivor-sided maps, you are, you are actually, you're, like, like, any build that you run is going to fail in that situation. If you, if, if you consistently lab... If you consistently lab good shit, good per if you can say if you consistently lab against good teams on terrible maps, you're gonna lose more often than not with no matter what you have. You have to just hope to God that they're bad if you're bringing decimated Bordo. No matter what you're running, you just have to do it because if they're not bad, they beat you. Tunneling is still meta. Yeah, pretty much. I, I just like trying to save these early gens. I think I'm labbing. Okay, what? What I think I'm labbing here, I'll be. I'll be 100% clear. What I think I'm labbing is a potential new early game strat, pretty much at this point. And then the mid game rotation. What is the point of builds if nothing works on good survivors? That that that's why you just have to make builds anyway and just pretend they're not there. If you're gonna play this game, you have to just pretend they're not there. Because nothing's going to work anyway. And we all know that. But that's the thing. We all know that. You know that. I know that. AQ knows that. We all know that. Nothing you make beats them. That's a great question. That's the problem with the game. What's the point of uh, build creation if nothing works? That's why we don't do it. 
That's why we run the same fucking five shit on everybody. Just play nurse. <laughs> What's the point of making builds of nothing? Just play nurse. Because it doesn't work. Nothing you do works anyway. So again, well, I'm doing it for you. Do I think Rosie would laugh? No, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but it's like... I'm also... Another an interesting thing here. I'm also seeing how quickly we fall back into the tunneling idea. Like, uh, what caliber of team are we falling back into it really quickly? She didn't notice us that entire time. Wow. Oh, gotta love this tile. So good. So fair. Pretty much. Hi, Nick Cage. This guy, okay, again. Now again. I'm just telling you, Wage, we're gonna beat these guys. Okay, we got a screen notification, too. Okay, we're gonna slug pressure, move it off. Oh no, we, that's what we needed. Ignore it. There we go. Another jolt proc. That gem blew up 18%. Stay with the flashlight. Now we're forced to slug. Okay. Turn around. We have a score truck. Yes, we do. That gem blew up 18%. And now it's about to blow up another 25, or the one across the map is. Now it's time to take a hook. We slowed the grab, we slowed the gens in the early game. See, it was made for this. That wasn't made for this. That was, uh, buckle up. That was for the people, buckle up. The Nick is a bot. But you see, that's my, pro that's my point. See, we have, we have bots here, so it's like, we're likely gonna win this. You gotta love how this tile is so dumb that, like, we didn't even trigger a chase mechanic on him. Joel has become a base kit ruin on this. You're getting, a uh, ruin value. But again, now it's time to camp. No, he insta-healed. You, did you miss the insta-heal IQ? He insta-healed. See, now it's time to, now it's time to camp. We, the slugging did its job already. So now we're going back to this. Wow, what the fuck? Huh. Joel again on that. If we get Nick Cage, we can proc it again. I have no idea what that was. I guess we tilted. That's the only thing I can think of. I guess we tilted just a bit too much. Joel again on that. Now we're slugging again. Okay, force him off. Okay, he's picked her up. This is not changing how you play. Yes, it is. We would always take that first hook. Tunneling's still meta. We confirmed that yesterday when we actually did it. Yesterday we did we did five, six hours of committing to pure slug. I'm taking what we learned from that and uh, applying it to what the meta is. And I'm seeing what it does. And as you can see, I, I, I think Jolt, I like Jolt guys. Jolt might low key have a home in the build. Jolt might have a home with Rosie now. But we're still doing the meta. 
We're just applying it slightly differently at the start of the game. And we're gonna get him out. The best slugging perk, yes. Jolt is a slugging perk. The fact that we have Jolt, it means we're slugging. Just a little bit. Look at the gen count. Even with no deadlock, we have held them. Ah, uh, we just wanted to put it early there. Ah, uh, this claw is kicking our butt. Okay. Jolt's a ruin there. Eh, hooker. We have four gens, look. So now we're not rushing. We don't need to go force that tunnel right now. Three gens. We all we need to do is down that ace one more time. And we get rid of them. They swarmed. Well, that's because they were using their fucking bargain bullshit. Ah! The, the, hi, Jolt. Thank you very much for slugging again. We need to force the player in who is uh, on death hook to do something. Do you see the slugging yet, Wage? Good job. Okay, oh. hey, bought that done. Good for them. That's the guy who's dead. Now we're gonna hard. We're going after him now. Oh fuck, he got away. Oh. I knew it was there. I thought there was I thought there was not a hole in that building. You're on death. You're dead too. That gen used to be halfway. It's at zero now. Looking for this ace. There he is. There's a pallet there though. Okay, they're both here, so we should be fine here. Yes, sir. Okay. They're both, their they're grunts of pain gave them away. Should be dead. Down on hook. Phase is plot twisting that doesn't matter against Myers. Jolt's pro Jolt's regressing that again. Oh, did we make this hook? Did we and we might want to play it safer and throw him on the non scourge. Very good. We don't just walk in and show them your cards. If you walk in and show them your cards and go, I'm pure slugging this entire game, you limit yourself. I got my tier three primed. He's the real target. We're gonna take him over here and score choke that gen. Joel has blown that gen up probably uh seventy-five percent this game.
Yeah. Oh yeah, we learned that yesterday. So what we're doing is we're picking our moment. So what we're doing is we're picking our moment. We're picking the wor what is the worst possible time for me to start a slug game right now? What's the worst possible time for me to do it? Steve, it worked once, buddy. It's not working again. You heard a scream notification. Hi, Nick Cage. Ah! Made for this almost save, yeah. Made for this is good at that. That gem would be done if Jolt was if we didn't have Jolt. It would have got done a long time ago. Ah! See, the game, I'm not, again, I'm not saying every game it's gonna put in fucking massive work. The result is I'm liking what we're doing. It's, 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 I'm liking it. But again, see, we won at a survivor-sided map. But again, because we won, the only natural conclusion that you can get from this is that they weren't that good. Were they, t were they the worst survivors I've ever played in my life? No. Were they good? No. Of course they weren't good. We just went with Myers on Decimated Borgo. Do I think this was Swift? No, probably not. So the only natural conclusion that you can get from this is that they're terrible, right? And see, notice when Jolt's doing something and you're doing a slug game, look at Scorch Hook Pain Rezo. It's not doing too much. We only, picked, we only got it once. You know, and that's the only that's the only natural conclusion. No matter what build you're running, it doesn't matter. If you're winning on Decimated Borgo, they're terrible. <laughs> you're being dismissive of the killer's skill. I know. Well, of course, they didn't do anything right. Because nothing beats Swift. That's why they didn't... Yeah, that's right. They didn't do... They didn't... They didn't abuse the things about the map that make it unfair. So you won. That's that's just how Killer is. That that's not only this build that's playing Killer in general, no matter who you are. They didn't abuse Decimated Borgo, so you beat them. That caps the conversation. That just that, like it, it, the conversation's now over. They're just bad. Move on. MFTM multiples. Oh, I didn't check. Shit. How many made for this is in there? I didn't check. Here, let me go back. There's four that for the people buckle up was in there twice. Uh, made for this on uh, three of four. The Nick Cage was the only one not running it. Yes, three made for this. Trash. Multiple people were faster. It's because they got made for this, bro. Not in the top 10 perks. Yeah, right. That's that's what Nightlight GG's for, buddy. That's what it's for. That makes pub stops easier. Yeah, pretty much. Again, well, I'm trying to apply it at a... I'm trying to, like, do what you need to do to fucking show you how it would the best way to use it against Swift, but like, even though I'm telling you what the best way to use it against Swift is, that doesn't mean it beats it. That's, no, that's never what I, that, that is never what I'm telling you. Basically, what the only thing you can do is kind of force top percent to be there. And if they're not top percent, you beat them. Then increase their base movement speed to once. Well, I mean, we got to monitor it, AQ. Dude, we have to monitor it, bro.
We have to monitor it, bro. All right, hold on, guys. I'm getting a phone call. BRB. Right, we're back we're back okay we got a little bit more for you tonight lads we're gonna do doctor who needs to play with your food and save so this is gonna be an interesting this is gonna be interesting do we give jolt up do we give jolt up or do we give pain rezo up or do we give corrupt up uh let's go no pain rezo and see what we get I want to see what no pain resolution looks like because we do have we are going to have a boosted lethality. We're going to have a boosted lethality here, so hopefully that will mean our slug game will be on point. That's that's going to be our first 
test with Doc. What's the point of playing killer if you can't beat anyone good? Uh, I can't tell you. That's why I play so you don't have to. I, 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 I just, I just, I like, like the re I, I stick around. Here's why. I, here, I'll tell you why I stick around. Even though I, even though I know Swift is impossible to beat, and the community is a joke, and every, every like everything is a joke in this game. The, 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 the reason I stick around is I like to do streams. I like to interact with you guys. Like, you guys are the main reason I'm still doing this. And I'm sure Wage can agree on that. It's fun to interact with your stream. If I stream the game I like, nobody watches. Right? But it's... Nobody watches. I, I like to interact and hang out with you guys. And I like the roster. I like the killers in the game. And all the killers in the game also have potential to defeat Survive with Friends. Like Sadako, for instance, who was just insanely buffed. They took a low tier, took, to, took the core about her, made her actually good to the point where she's an A tier. Those, when, those stories you get from uh, when you actually get a low tier buff to relevance, those make me feel good. I like that shit. See if you can get rage clips while face camping. And again, I think I think this strat might be a bigger part of the game once camping is gone. Because camping is camping once camping is gone, we're gonna have to find we're gonna have to readjust and we're gonna take a lot more losses. Everybody will. But again, we had it we had some decent dredge plays. I think what happens is aura aura reveals go up in value when face camping is gone. Because you have to time your proxy camps perfectly. You have to time your proxy camps absolutely perfectly. So stuff that allows you to do that's going to be very helpful. Which means, again, Wage, you might see a face of the darkness attempted they attempted to be worked with again. I just don't like face of the darkness because it's a hex, my friend. That's the if it wasn't a hex, I'd run it every game. But I don't like hexes. Rosie, don't do hexes. Hexes are trash. He Swift gets hexes every time. Hexes get deleted by Survivor friends. So they're worthless. Disturb Ward. We got another bad map here. Until and again, I think another thing, Wage. I know you're into build creation, and I like I like the fact that you're into build creation because you create good builds. I like your builds. I have always have. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Hold on. I don't even know where I'm going with that. Oh, your your talents, I, I'm telling you, a big reason that your talents are just not helpful right now, pardon the word, that's pardon the lack of a better word, it's just I'm playing the game. Uh, the reason that a lot of your builds aren't as good as they could be is there's no corrupt in there. Uh, that, that's, such a, that's such a very fucking boring thing to say, I know. But no corrupt really fucking hurts. Against Swift, you just you need it. And you need it. You need it. You need it. You need it. As boring as it is, you need the fucking shit. If you if they fucking made a variant of that perk fucking base, we would be able to fucking have an extra option, which would allow us to try better things, try other stuff, try more fun alternatives. But we can't because we need corrupt every fucking game if you want to beat Swift. And you want to have a chance at beating Swift. <laughs> Use this or get fucked by default. That's that. That's why I just want the shit base. Because it's so boring to have to use it every fucking game. And again, it doesn't beat them anyway. That's the best part. It doesn't beat them anyway. What it does is it, it increases the amount of people you can beat. Wait, I forgot we were doctor. That was an easy hit. Ugh. I'm so garbage. We wasted a good play with the big stack there. And again, I'm not saying give me the full perk base. I still don't even think that's necessary. Just... Giving me two... Giving me two will have the same impact. 
Just give me two for 60 seconds. It'll have the same impact of beating babies. That way I can take it out and throw Pain Rezzo in this build. Okay. Let me move on to something else that gets nerfed, and yep. Wait, she knows how to play killer, guys. Ah, oh, fuck, we messed that up. But so did she, so we're good. Give me the play stack. Static Blast needs a cooldown reduction. Cool. We're about to get a Jolt proc. Now we're not. Very good. They should be, the sad part is that still wouldn't fix them. It would just be annoying. Static Blast would be better if it only did a half a stack. And static Blast right now does one stack, right? It would be better if it just did one shock therapy but had a cooldown reduction. It's the finding them you need. Thanks, play with your food. This map is so broken. Hey, there's a jolt. The only person we can find is the obsession. She's the only person we can find. Okay. Getting out, like, if they were in tier 3 madness every 20 seconds, wage, they could get out of it in, like, 5. So, that wouldn't even fix them. That's not the way I support fixing them, either. I just support a buff. Okay. If nobody's gonna interact, this is the only way to put pressure on them. We're catching up here. Okay. Now we can go in and pressure this gen a little bit more. We need a kill. The kill is more important than both of our perks right now. I will take a free down. A free hit's not good enough. The distance gem blow up is so helpful. No one else is interacting and we need a kill. Because three gens are almost done. 
Let's go over here. Most potential gens to hit. <laughs> but it's like they're 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 winning through non-interaction. This is why I think has to go. We've seen... We haven't even seen the Felita yet. As Doctor. They're keeping their distance on us. See, they're holding W. This is non-interactive. And then when they do have to interact, they're terrible. <laughs> we did that a little too late. All they've done this match is throw down god pallets and god tiles and stay away from us. If we had a static blast, we would slug, but we don't have a static blast, which is a problem. Again, static blast would be better if they reduced the cooldown and reduced the amount of madness it gives. It's not worth the extra stage. Tier 3 madness is trash against anybody good. This gem would be done if Jolt wasn't in our match. Jolt's even just... Oh, go, go, she's here, she's here. Oh, bullshit. Okay, that's two, that's two. Look at Jolt, Wade, you see Jolt. That gives us time to get this hook, stuff the spoon out, and head over there. Again, wish we had a static wish we had a static blast ready to go right now. Look at the cooldown on it. We need two tier threes right now. Gotta fall! Okay, let's let her go. Now we need a hardcore camp. But again, they're forcing us to play like this with the way they're playing. Well, we are, the way we are playing is responding to the way they are playing. Yeah. I said this for years, Wage. You know what the problem with this game is? Nobody wants to admit. This is why everybody got so mad at Patrick. When he was talking about, like... If a skill play doesn't get you a win, is it really skill? People got mad at him for that. Do you remember this? Here's what here's the problem with the game nobody wants to accept. Skill plays don't play don't take skill. This game does not take skill. It doesn't. Skill plays are the plays that get you wins. Right? Skill plays are do not in this game do not take skill. That's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> right now, the meta of this game, especially on both ends, technically. The meta in this game is more skillless than it's ever been in its entire existence.
the way I had to deal with this team is not the way I want to play the game. It is the most boring way to play this game. Win by attrition, slow camping, but that's the way you have to beat a team like this. If they're not going to enter, I, we still, by the way, have not seen, uh, what's her face? Raquela? Fireflies 5510? Still haven't seen that player yet. We're, we're in the fucking late game. Still haven't seen her. That's a fucking problem. The fact that she's not being forced to interact with us is an issue. <laughs> they release all kinds of trash that has synergy with the low skill play styles of the game. Like made for this, like made for this. <laughs> And again, people got mad at Patrick for telling them that skill plays don't take skill, pretty much. The re Patrick understood the meta of this game is not skillful. Inefficiency... Inefficiency is not skillful. Playing the game incorrectly is by definition not skillful. If I were to, like, play the game incorrectly, and I would lose, I would be doing the thing that would require more skill, but it's also less efficient. It's backwards. We have it all ass backwards in this fucking game. If I was to try to get value out of this build, keep the obsession in the game, we have, we have a bigger chance of losing this. Because trust, the obsession was terrible. She was the only one who was interacting. As terrible as the obsession was, she was the most active member of the team. She was the only one we were seeing. So that player was punished. The player that was doing the thing everybody says they like to do was punished because she was interacting with us. The Felita is now going to get hatched for not interacting with us the entire game. Congratulations. And, and we wonder why hatches should have never have given you matchmaking bonuses. It, that, it hatches shouldn't make your rank go up. She sat in the corner and didn't do anything. We've seen every member of the team but her. Yep, lose to the map is skill issue. The way the map is laid out and the way it look at there's so much clutter, you can't see anything. There's no line of sight breakers, easy hiding for the Felita. Rally no Ronaldo. Ronaldo's the, the, the dude. This is the Lita. By the way, I jolt save that gen, and look how many gens are left. Maybe Jolt No Pain Reza is the way to go on some characters. Oh my god, is that the fucking ice cream truck? Holy shit. Take my money. For every... here, Here's what you do. If, if For every survivor... You, again, you can still lower Static Blast as... Uh, for, you can still lower its amount of things it gives to 0.5 instead of one. That's one tier, it does a half of one, just like a shock does. Um, for every survivor that is in a, a in tier two or tier three of madness, the cooldown should increase. Like it should go down. Tier three is a starting point. You don't even have to do tier two. For every second there in tier three, my static blast should be off cooldown. Is what you could do with it. It should go off cooldown base kit. It would give me more static blasts to get in the fucking game and go find people. So we can do that whole thing called interacting that people say is so important in this game and then don't do it. Like this fucking Thalita who I still can't fucking find. Almo! Birds! Where are they? Where are the birds, Almo? Wow, this is fun. And now we're gonna have to sit here and wait two minutes, because do you think the Felita's gonna make a move for the gate? She's probably in a fucking locker. 
Oh, look at that! There! Look at that! Look at that, guys! Look at it! I wonder what this person was doing the entire fucking match! <laughs> fucking trash, dude. What a waste of everyone's time this game was. The thing about the lockers is like they're bad, but it's like only if the killer has an idea of where you already are. If, if I have no idea where she is, I can't find her if she's in a locker, especially if she's rotating between them. And look, she got the most blood points because blood points also doesn't main skill. Trash. What a miserable fucking experience for everybody that that match was. I didn't have fun because I didn't get to use play and save. Well, I, I got to use a lot. I got to use play a lot, to be fair. But I had to. I had to get rid of the obsession. Had to get her out. Had to get her out. There's fucking. There's fucking two gens done and two more are almost done. Gotta get somebody out. Gotta turn it into a three v one. Having somebody dead is more valuable than half my build. Ted, it's more valuable than half my build. Gotta get the obsession out. So I didn't have fun because I was pressured the whole fucking game. Uh. The Nancy didn't have fun because she got tunneled out. These two didn't have fun because they played a 3v1 for over half the match. And the Valida didn't know what she was doing enough to even know what was going on in the game. So she didn't have fun either. What a waste of everybody's fucking time. This is why the game is trash. Right here. This is why the game is fucking terrible. What a miserable experience. Wretched filth. Garbage. The game is garbage, guys. The game is garbage. What fucking horrendous dog shit. On every conceivable level, this game is terrible. This game is shit for the fucking birds, bro. Well, no, it's not even shit for the birds, because the birds don't come out when they need to. It's not even that. The birds don't fucking come out when they need to. To eat the shit. Absolutely miserable gaming experience. Who are we playing as now? Let's have more fun. Maybe with difficulty? Yeah! Wow! It's interesting, isn't it? Let's play Bubba. Last time they played Bubba, I don't know if anybody remembers, they threw instantly. Like, as soon as they saw me, they threw. But yeah, let's, let's take out a DC penalties, though. That'll make the game more fun. That'll make the game a lot better. Good, good thinking, bro. Let's take out these C penalties. That's a that's a very smart idea. The game is just silly. Okay, that's an old rosy build. Uh, let's use a bulb and a chili. Yeah, it gives you a challenge, but and then and yeah, you're not designed to beat it. But here's what they also do. There's another part of it. What they also do is pre they 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 give you nerfed versions of that challenge so you can do something. They don't let you beat the challenge. They want you to beat up on losers. Okay, wait, Jolt's only. Jo oh, we only have Jolt at tier two. Fuck, I'm not playing it then. Hold on, we need to get Jolt up to three. Hold on. We're labbing Jolt right now. I don't want to play him if Jolt is here, too. Can we get lucky? Ah, we're not lucky. Okay, we'll come back to Bubba. Let's try it. Let's play Clown. Let's run the same build. Let's run... Okay, because Clown and Doctor are mirroring their builds, so... 
Let's try play with your food, save, corrupt, and let's take eruption out for jolt. Uh. Can't believe Bubba only has tier 2 Joel. What the fuck? Well, out of all the points we put into him? I guess most of the points we put into him was pre-prestige change though, to be fair. But yeah, they, they they give you nerf versions of that challenge. Like it, they, like like they'll, they'll throw in. This game is the game you want to try to design something to defeat hard mode, and they keep putting you on easy mode, because the, the 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 matchmaking is designed to make sure you don't get swift as as often as possible to inflate the kill rates, to make the killers okay. It's terrible. It's terrible drag. It's terrible filth and garbage. Miserable fucking garbage on every conceivable level. Alrighty then, lads. I'm nervous. You wasn't. You wasn't supposed to be. Yeah. Yep. Think about one side and one skill level too. And one skill level. Don't think. And again, Patrick's only crime was trying to even it out a little bit. Let, 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 let's think about everybody. Let's think about everybody. Let's not let the majority alienate the minority. You know this thing this country was founded upon? The thing, the thing this country was literally founded upon? Read the James Madison papers or whatever the fuck they're called? This, this country was literally founded upon that shit? I know they're from Canada, but still. Let's not let the majority scrubs bully the actual good players with requesting changes. Yeah, McLean called them up. McLean called them up and they, they're doing an alien game together or some shit. I'm not even gonna waste my time with that. I see somebody over here we gotta get. I think this is the P100. Let's see how good, let's see how good this no-lifer is. Okay, he's on himself off to the corner. Very bad start from him. But don't worry, there's a pallet there now, guys. There's a pallet there now! Because, because, uh, let's not forget that. We don't want to create dead zones. Why is there a pallet right by the fucking killer shack, devs? I thought, I thought those, those corner tiles were about not creating dead zones. So why in God's name is there a thing right by the killer shack? That's not a dead zone. He's got calm spirit, I think. Yeah, he does. Play with your food value? Question mark? No. That forced movement is garbage. Jesus. 
Jesus. Are you that fucking bad, buddy? Look at the tile spacing here. Look at it. They have a filler tile next to bus, which changes to that jungle gym over there. Why do they need that filler tile? That just saved them twice. Because filler tiles aren't bad. I kind of need a hook here. I don't have a pain res though, rough. We still held them. We bounced around long enough. Take the injure in the play stack and leave. I know where everyone is. Oh, bullshit. What? Fuck off. He was right there. Oh, they do. Now he's gonna drop it. Yep. A lot of free drops, they know what they're doing. I'm so upset about that uh, flashlight. There we go. We need to slug her. Very good. Jolt save his chin. There'd be one left now if it wasn't for Jolt. We, we just can't get started. They're all over us. They're super aggro. The flashlight in the mid game killed us. The pre drops are everywhere. Yep. Power's not good enough. Call a gen rush, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, right, I thought a clown was. I thought I was supposed to be able to take care of your uh, fast faults. Girl, save? Are you about to save us? Oh come on, fast fault buff. Look at the one fastball change. That one fastball is about to win them this game. This was three people down if they didn't have that. It's gotta go. There's some things in the game that just can't stay. This is one of them. They went way too fucking far.
Dumbass. We're slugging. Let's go. Adrenaline, they all got up because this is a four man swift. Gates open in 20 seconds because this is four man swift. And they don't beat four men swift. Like, look, look at the spacing. Why do they need this filler tile by the god tile? Why do they need that? Oh my god, dude. Fastball buff. They launch 20 feet forward. You can't get them. The issue is not that they fixed ping. That's not what they did. They, they gave you a huge base kit adjustment. That is bullshit, guys. Look at that. Are you seeing that shit? Like, it's such a big wad of shit. They took that way too far. <laughs> yeah, they are. But it's like... Yep. Check out the builds here. Adrenaline. Adrenaline. Adre four man swift. They all four had adrenaline. Uh, alert. This perk is actually low key really fucking bullshit, by the way. This one. You can. The swift can use this to make ex stupid call outs. So. Quick and quiet light. So you had an exhaustion perk with quick and quiet. Sure. That's a decent build. Balanced will make it. Self aware. I don't know what that is. But. Adrenaline, so you got an exhaustion, good. Resilience was made for this. Oh, resilience, there, so that, that, that's allowing the fast faults to be even dumber. With life as well, to get even more reward out of it. Yep, nothing you can do there. Nothing you can do is going to let you beat that team, nothing. That's why you don't worry about it, just move on. It's like, okay, that, it doesn't matter what I'm running there. I lose. Especially on Clown. You lose. And the sad part is, uh, the only reason they won that was because of the fastball buff. We had we had three down at one point if, if uh, the fastball buff wasn't there. They gotta change that. Are they getting shit on Twitter for this? Like, the survivors can should not be able to shoot off... And, you know what it turns them into? It turns every fastball into a dead hard. Every fastball becomes a dead hard. They literally get a dead hard. They launch 50 feet forward. It's dead hard. And this dead hard doesn't have a cooldown, so it's worse. And it stacks with made for this and resilience. Makes it even dumber.
But anyway, see, you can't. You just have to go, okay, I'm gonna move on to the next game. Because that's all I can do. We could go mangled, the mangled approach. Yeah, let's make sure we get on a, let's go to McMillan, try it again. That's all you can do, let's just move on. Like, I guess my point is when you get a group like that, you shouldn't scream at your TV. It doesn't do anything for you. You shouldn't scream at your television. Let me scream at the television. How are Survivor cues right now? Bad, I'd imagine. I think Killer's at 100% already, isn't it? But it's like, when you get a cue like that, screaming ain't gonna do anything for you. You just, you just move on. And then if they show up in your post-game chat after they were in 4-Man Swift, here's what you do. You just go up to them, and then you hit hide user on the channel, and then they're instantly banned. It's pretty neat. It's been 100% the entire stream. That's because no one's playing killer. No one's dealing with this shit. We had three downs if the uh, fastball buff wasn't there. Sounds like a victim beaten its submission. You know what, Wage? That's exactly what it is. But as somebody that's been in two abusive relationships, I can deal with it. <laughs> that's why I play it. Because <laughs> I can deal with it. Want to put that? Because, like, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm used to this shit, dude. I know how it is. That's like what? Four man split with four adrenalines. You think I'm gonna fucking rage about that? Like, it's, it's 2023. I'm not gonna rage about not beating four man split with four adrenalines with clown. In an era where they buff fast vaulting for no good reason. They buff the shit out of fast vaulting, and by the way, the new layouts are really bad. On the, like, the, like the 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 uh, the decision to put uh, increased amounts of filler tiles in the in, in each in section of the map has really fucked the tile spacing over on Auto Haven. It's really bad there now. Like, what is that tile doing right by the shack? What's it doing there? The Dwight was a fucking loser and zoned himself off into the corner, but there was a tile there that could have saved that that just saved him. At the, at the very beginning of the game, the Dwight was a clown and ran on the edge of the map. You should always be punished. You should always be punished if you run on the edge of the map. Always. You shouldn't just have shit there that saves you. Especially when it's right by the fucking one of the best tiles in the game. Shaq is a solved tile. There's nothing you can do about it. It's solved. The, the meta for Shaq, there's nothing you can do to push the Shaq meta forward. It's, it's, it's done. It's solved. Most of the tiles in the game are pretty much solved at this point. Give them a show. That's what we're here to do, bro. Dance for me, clown! Okay, get the play stack. <laughs> get fucked, buddy. See, we're gonna slug here. Easy slug. Easy decision to slug here. He's got a flashlight. They don't have anything done. I need a mangled. Ah, eh, fuck off. Okay, we got a mangle on him now. Okay. Push back. Three of them weren't doing anything. Flip flop power struggle kills us. You get clown nerfed, I know, dude. They kind of pushed him off Jens a little bit. Let's go forward, let's move out. We have a very, we have a chance here to like be a bit more active. So we're gonna take it. All 
Okay. We see what they're doing. Now we need to fall back at the hook a little bit. We need a mangled on him. Very good. Good. Jolt. We gotta scream as well. So we're gonna slug again. Pure direct hit. Beautiful stuff. Push him off of that. Let's, let's rotate back around to the obsession. Because there's a gen here that's almost done as well. He's, he's self carrying beautiful. Okay. Is that a sprint burst he had? Again, if there weren't 50 god tiles there, slugging would be again, also like a lot better. But like jungle gym chaining into shack as cloud, it's not gonna happen. Okay, with uh, more jolt value, but no, uh, no scream. So now we're gonna slug. Now we're gonna hook again. Jolt helps you take better hooks. Again, we're having to... This is another uh, terrible game where we have to get the obsession out. He's a weak link. Another direct hit with the bottle. Our bottle throws are on point right now. Okay. Leave and go. Somebody should be rotating this way. Not don't challenge the god. Don't challenge the jungle gym. It's a stupid waste of your time. Force them to come in, play your game. There's no hook meter right now. As if we charged out. Okay, that's fine. There's okay. We know where everyone is. Hard face camp this now. Reload. Is he straight with me? He's straight with me. Somebody is. Very good. <laughs> We're trying to like earn a few save stacks before we take the kill. Not what we want. Get rid of it. Keep rocks on Jolt. I still have everybody injured. We don't know where anybody else is though. Okay, we hear a male. We got four safe stacks. If the obsession wants to the, the obsession wants to trade with us, come on in, sweetie. Make my day. Okay, there's somebody right there. Ah, bad throw. Good read on our part. Life, so it doesn't matter. That's our man. But he's full health. But he's weak. Oh no. Oh. 
a bit more active pressure. lose somebody and everybody's injured. They're both up here. Beautiful. Ah, oh, sprint first. Fuck you. Very good, that blows that up. Okay. We're less worried about regens if we slug. If you add slugging as a bigger part of your game. Okay, let's go in. There ain't no pallet here. I already burned it. Once somebody's out of the game, slugging's way better too. Because we spent the whole- just Because we spent the entire time yesterday fucking slugging four mans and four teams- four te Like, we slugged everybody on a team. Like, that's what we did for five hours, six hours yesterday. Because we, like, have slug reps in us now, it's much easier to secure these wins. It's much easier to keep the pressure on them. GG. <laughs> Very good. And Jolt helps you transition over, I think. Jolt is a slug perk. It is It is not a gen regression perk. It's not. I mean, it kind of is. It, it blows, it rosy, it blows up the gen 8%. Jolt tells you when it's time to slug. That's what, that's what, that's what it does. It tells you when it's time to slug. I still want to run Bubba, but I want to. I want to get. I want to get it to three. I don't. I don't run stuff one two. I don't do that. How about just get rid of perk tiers already? It's a stupid concept. It's not needed. Perk tiers are a dumb concept. Just make somebody have to prestige a character to prestige three to get them all the perks. Perk, perk, perk tiering is dumb. Some perks are barely affected by it at all. Some are affected by it a fuck ton. Just fucking get rid of it. It's a dumb guy. It's a dumb idea by a dumb company. Let's play Pinhead again. I want to keep our Pinhead build the way it is. Because I do like Dark Devotion. Y'all are going to be impressed with Dark Devotion, I swear. Now that we're hooking again, let's try... Let's do what... Uh, nah, let's not go to Midwitch. That's a bad Pinhead map. Let's go to... Let's just take it back to the big villain. Midwitch is a bad Pinhead map. Uh, 
Oh, but oh wait, no, we need corrupt. You know what? I I, I I still like Dark Devotion. Let me just run one game without it. I don't want to put corrupt in. It's such so, so, so boring. It's so boring. I love Dark Devotion. It's, corrupt is so boring, you guys. It's such a boring ass fucking perk. I don't want to run it. I want to run Dark Devotion. Okay. We're, we're, we're running Dark Devotion. We're, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to trust our ability to, to do an early game without Corrupt. One time. Use that perk, Dark Devotion. Dark Devotion. Alright, we're going to run it. We're going to run it, Wade. You need... You talk about Corrupt? You need Corrupt to win? Yeah. Oh, but I want to run Dark Devotion. It's so fun. But wait, is, but wait, Dark Devotion is so fun. We could give up Sloppy. You can't give up Save. I thought you were telling me to run the gimmick perk. We could give up Sloppy. Oh wait, somebody, never mind. I want to win though, I do. I do, but I also want to run Dark Devotion. It's so fun. It's so fun going undetectable with non-stealth killers. Because nobody sees it coming. You'll never see it coming. Alright, no corrupt. We're going in, Wage. Let's go! Wage, let me show you something. When's the last time you've run Dark Devotion, Wage? I, I, I want to see what you can do with this, because you're like the mad scientist. Make Rosie a Dark Devotion build, bro. Use what works and fuck what don't. Well, I mean, yeah. But Dark Devotion could work! It's not bad! It's not a bad perk. It's not a bad perk. It's so cute. I've done so much stuff with it in this la uh, in the past few days. You'll just be like, oh, Dark Devotion value. There it is. You're not even trying to get it. You just whack the obsession and then leave them. And then it's like, oh, hi, by the way, here I come. I'm Pinhead. Try it on Freddy. Nah, Freddy don't need it. <laughs> Yeah, you, you gotta run it on. You gotta run it on big tear radius killers, like the Death Slinger. Ooh. Okay, suffocation pit. Three gen map. Has it... All right. Love how I give the take. The entity takes it from me. That that's canon. It has to be. Oh, oh, bad spawn. Love it. Bad bad spawn. You gotta check everything. Yeah, you gotta, gotta run on a kill without a fucking lullaby, that's true. Okay, this guy's pre-dropping. Okay, we gotta we gotta play watch more hit runny though. We gotta we gotta monitor our gens. We can't just go oh, double chasing the cage. Cause this one's already almost done. See how it works? This is the no corrupt life. Oh dark devotion, let's go. Already proc it. Where's my terror radius go? Where is it? Where is it? Where's my red stain? Where is it? Where's my red stain? Where is it? Where is it? You summoned me. I came. Oh, that's a hit. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. Two saves. Did you see the Dark Devotion play though? 
Okay, we have two slugs in the game. Now we can hook. I know, dude. That is the gen they got done. Okay, we need to rotate this way then is what that means. We gotta rotate over here. Where's the obsession? I wanna smack him. Oh, FOV is so bad. Okay. Summoned me. I came. What are you doing, Nick Cage? That's such a. Oh, there's something there. What the fuck? Didn't, didn't we hook him already? This will be a hook, too, right? He's already like We're not quite rolling yet. We need to come pressure this. Ooh, dark devotion. Give it to me. Oh on, we gotta actually take this. Pallets down there. Down. Jolt. Okay, we need this hook. Because it's more buyer stuff, so this is an important hook. Nick Cage is already on death hook. That wasn't really dark devotion value, we just kind of, that was kind of saved doing Bork. Nick Cage is over here. The cage is target number one. They almost have a chain hunt. We almost got a chain hunt. Somebody's, they can't do gens. Steve's got a, uh, we're not teleporting to him. I think we just found the cage. Yes, sir. Oh, fastball buff. You have to love it. That changes our whole plan. Because now we can't commit. Now we have to go camp again. This, these changes are good for everybody. Because now we gotta go camp. New stacks. What dark devotion? Give it to me. Very good. Wait, what? Where's dark devotion? It doesn't trigger if you fucking hit put the guy in a deep wound? That's such an unnecessary limitation. Drop it off, pallet, please. Yes, sir. Look at the gen count. That makes me so mad. That's such an unnecessary limitation. I hit the obsession. So I get my fucking perk. This guy's on death hook. Oh. Jolt, pro, Jolt Proc incoming. Oh my fucking god. Oh wait, no, Steve was there. Steve body blocked us. 
I think. Or is that in my head? I really think Steve body blocked us there. Okay. And then I don't I still don't get my perk. Why did I do I ought to not get my perk? I hit the obsession. Give me my perk. It's so gay that that doesn't give you your perk. It's so, it's so dumb. I hit the obsession. I get my perk. Especially when they do that. Especially when they do that. Especially when they do that shit. I should get my perk. There's the fast fall buff again. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Enough fucking downs to get that kill? Look at the gens, though. Our pressure's been so good. It's fine. I saw a chain go heavily this way. Beautiful. Slug time. Slug time, baby. Slug time. We could go win now, but we have control again. <laughs> if they rush that gen together, they might get it done. But it's too, it's too late, we already won. Nope, we're at separate get another jolt proc. Are you healing or getting the gen done?
zombie game, it makes me feel like a zombie. There are zombies in the game. Push her back this way. Oh, come on. Fuck this fucking game, dude. That's not the one we wanted. Oh, it's still a 3 gen. Now it's still a 3 gen. They me. still have to get 2 done. It's not, it's not even like they need 1. They need 2. Uh, no. We would rather pressure Steve. They'd rather, we're not gonna give up our area control. Okay, Dark Devotion, let's go. Oh wait, the pallet's already gone. The pallet's already gone, Rosie, you narc. Hi, Dark Devotion. Why well, I see the dude from Scream hanging people? Did you see Dark Devotion though, bro? Did we see it? Yeah. The, she ran right into us! It's still killer shit! Ah! <laughs> Where was the other gen? Oh my god, they had, they, they were five gen. What a we got a really good spawn here. Wage, wage, bro. They were five gen. One, two, three, four, five. They were five gen. <laughs> Five gen spawned on this on this side, and why did we ever walk over there? They were five gen. Legit fucking five gen. I've never seen a five gen in my life. They were five gen. That was some of the worst gen spacing I've seen in Dead by Daylight history. What the fuck? They got three, three kills face camping. We slugged a little bit. We know when it's time to pop off. Couldn't even outplay brain dead Bubba. Oh no, you got three kills face camping. Oh. We making sl we making it work, bro. Good killers, bro. Bro, Dark Devotion's my shit. I, I, bro, Dark Devotion, Bubba. I want to see that so bad. Bubba can actually run it too, cause we don't have, we don't need save. Bubba doesn't need save. He was just, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a perk slot coming. When's the camping nerf coming? I believe mid chapter from Alien. Mid chapter of Alien, I believe. Uh, 
Uh, two buckle up for the peoples. Uh, buckle up for the people needs a fucking nerf. You have to. You need to complete a healing action for buckle up to ta to go off. All right, guys. What is that? Four hours? Okay, I'm gonna get the hell out of here, lads. GGS. Four hours stream today. Good shit. That'll probably be it for me for this weekend. Don't know when the next one will be, but it'll be there. All right, GGS, boys.